Hello and welcome to Sunny Spain. I accept that it's a bit cold now, as you can see by this heavy jumper. Um, this short video is just to supplement the blog entry about the Sony SNZB06P human presence detector. What makes this different to a lot of the ones you'll see is A, it is not battery powered. It has a USB connection on there. You may say, well, that's a backward step. Well, no, because these things tend to take a fair bit of power. So other sensors that I've got are like this. Um, same size. Use a honking grid battery, which you've got to replace every now and then. Um, I think I would have liked to have seen this with a rechargeable in it, but then maybe the charge doesn't last that long on the rechargeable, so they decided to make it USB-C powered. There it is. There's a little button on the other side for uh, getting an instant reading out of it. And for pairing, of course. Now, what's also good about this is this little magnetic base. So... Uh, you can put some adhesive on the back or screws as you prefer stick that on the wall and then detach this thing whenever you want i quite like that actually because if you've got to do any setup you know you really don't want to be doing it with a thing mounted on the wall you want it in your hand so you can set it up easily so there it is i'm going to try and switch cameras here yeah so i'm going to go to my zigbee 2 mqtt interface and take you all the way down to SNZB 06P and there it is SNZB 06P if I click on that you get to see the device and what it exposes well it exposes the state as occupied or vacant and the signal strength Nothing about time there. The thing has no idea about time. So it's up to whatever software you're doing to record the time it lasts to give you a reading. Because this thing is currently saying occupied. Well, the news is, folks, it hasn't been turned on for the last couple of weeks. So that's actually wrong. Um, when I plug it in, that will obviously change. But that's all covered in the blog. Uh, what I'll do, actually, while I've got you here... And I'll plug it in. And there it is, plugged in. It's of course going to stay occupied again because, um, well, I'm moving. It will take a few minutes before that actually decides that it's not occupied. However, I think I can, can I trigger some kind of reading by pressing the button there? Oh, yes, I can. If I press the button, it flashes to let you know it's doing something. And if you look up back there, the link quality has changed since. I'm going to move that sensor around at 135 LQI. Anyway, there it is. Go back to the blog. This is just a quick visual uh, in the hope that it may be of some use to you. I rather like this magnetic attachment. Not quite as useful as it would be on a device that didn't have USB attached to it all the time. But then, this Zigbee device can be a router. There it is.